Any questions? Yes. Viola, congratulations. Thank Such you. Such a great win for you. So how does it feel to just be recognized by the critics and win the, the Best Actress Award? Complete and utter shock, seeing that I've been losing everything this year and all of a sudden they call my name. But um, it feels good. Um, you always want your work to be acknowledged, that's why you do it. I can't do it in the room. I can't, you know, do it in front of my mirror, in my bathroom. You know, I do it for the pre appreciation and enjoyment of people, of an audience, and so it means a lot. Hi, Viola, Shayla Harris with the New York Times. Hi. How do you give such great speeches? I have no idea, seeing that I had my loser face ready. You know, I had a glass of champagne just so I can relax all the muscles so that smile could come naturally. Um, <laughs> I guess I, I've always had a lot to say, you know, and I've always felt like if I had a platform to say it, it would be, you know, you know God's greatest gift for me. But, you know, that's all I can say about that. And I was happy with it too. <laughs> I was really going to be okay. I was going to, you know, go home and get in my jacuzzi with my husband and, you know, maybe have a glass of champagne and I was good with it. <laughs> Viola, you've had such success on stage and on film. Do you have any projects that you'd like to see, like a pet project that you'd like to see come to fruition that you could star in? Is it, if it's a book or a play that you'd like to see um, come to life on film that, you, that you'd be really rooting for? Oh, gosh, there's so many. I mean, there's so many that I've optioned. You know, I have a story, the personal history of Rachel Dupree, I've always been, I've always wanted to be in the black woman in the John Ford movie. I've always wanted to see all of Octavia Butler's book um, on screen. She's a black science fiction writer. I wanted to be in a, in a sci-fi, to be the heroine with the afro, you know, slaying dragons. Um, it's endless, you know, the possibilities, the narratives that I've always wanted to be a part of that I've never seen myself in, and um, so there's not enough time in a day to tell you. <laughs> Hi, were you shocked at the film's commercial success? Did you ever think this might be a small little critic's darling of a film? I thought it was gonna go one way or the other, that it was gonna at, be a huge success or a huge failure. It, it had that mark on it. it was about maids in 1963 Mississippi with a th very thick dialect and I knew the African American community was not happy with it. Um, and yet I knew it had a huge fan base. So I, I knew it could go either way. I'm glad it went this way. I really am. But you know what? Most of all, I'm just glad I made it. I'm glad I wasn't sitting in the theater thinking, oh my God, I wish I were a part of this movie, you know? So. Thank you. Thank you.